buffet for Sunday and um, I know that I said I was gonna drive the car today but actually you're gonna drive the car today I'm sure I am no we're, Think so? we're, we're serious oh, yeah. oh really no we're dead serious a long time, buddy. really yeah this is all for you today let's do it okay down let's how do, do you it. feel ready ready I've been training on my so, sim magic shit all these years just to do this. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no complaining that the steering wheel isn't to your liking or nothing. Okay. I'll just, I'll just gonna punch the hell out of my knees. <laughs> <laughs> Sick. All right, so let's uh, tell you up. Get your shit set up. Let's go, dude. We'll start over. Yeah, man. I'm proud of you. Sick. Let's do it. How are you going to pitch out? Do it. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Remember what Dustin was telling you all day yesterday? What? Oh, yeah. Everything? Yes. I was Remember wondering that. was telling me all that. There you go. <laughs> like, I've never... There you go. <laughs> I'm always up there. Yeah, there you go. McBride, can I take your car out? Like, maybe in the, in the, in the, in a skid pad? Please? Please? No. I do not. Alright, let's get you ready, man. Sick. Yes, sir. Did I tell you? Yeah, he told me. Yeah. <laughs> Stoked? Are you stoked? Huh? You ready? Yeah. I'm stoked as hell. <laughs> I've been waiting to do something like this for years. Yeah. You know, no one's ever driven this thing other than me. Well, but like actually, but like actually drifted it. I haven't drifted it. Yeah. I drove from over there. Making history. Making history with this car. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna start out slow. We're gonna start out with us doing donuts. First, I actually want you just to drive it around, feel the brakes, yeah. feel the handbrake. I like, I like to just get on it one time and feel like a pull. Yep. Just like feel where it's burning in case it is. Yep, yep. But we're going to start, like I said, man. We're going to start slow and work our way up and then get you ripping. Okay. Sound good? Sound good. All right, let's head over there. It's going to be crazy. Let's see what you can do. You ever driven anything like this? Not on this level, no. No. Nope. I've been in a few. I know how it feels. I just don't know how it feels to drive it. Yeah. It's to be a learning curve, but I'm fairly confident in my understanding of the basic driving technique of, that goes into driving one of these cars. The thing that's going to be the, the biggest thing is going to be taking use of all the extra forces and all the extra stuff the senses that the actual car gives you that you don't have in the sim. So I'm used to just what I feel through my hands and what I see on the track. It's visual and it's limited to just your hands. But with this you gotta, you know, your hips are for side bite and your back and your tailbone's for forward bite. Figuring out how to feel it out and stuff like that. Um, so. Well, let's get you in there, let's head over. Wait till you're in that seat for 12 hours. God, no kidding. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah get in there. Gran Turismo and went to Forza and that just really procured my passion 
uh, for motorsports. It, it, it changed my life, and if I could only imagine if someone would would have given this to me of what that would have been, what that would have done. Um, it's just uh, it's just my way of paying it forward, and uh, I'm really proud of Zach. He puts in a ton of work on this team, and uh, I'm excited to see what he's doing right now. Camera first run, second run, cleaned it up. Dude's a natural. <laughs> it was crazy. It was crazy, crazy how fast guy, he picked man. it up. That yeah, that was nuts. Nuts, nuts. Yeah, once you keep it up, you just gotta st it, it, you just gotta keep it up. You can't let it fall down like that. So that's why you can whip the clutch. Keep it in the power band.
<laughs> He's rippy, bro. He's ripping, dude. I'm so stoked. Yeah, go cool that thing down around the pit. And then uh, when you pull it around in front of the truck, uh, just shut it off and we'll let it cool down. feel good yeah feel buddy confident. That was sick. So, the first run out the first transition i did when i over rotated i clutch kicked when i clutch kicked i fell out of the power band and i lost the wheel speed there and you could feel it yeah because it wanted to wrap around i have enough drive to drive the front back out yeah, right done. so i sent it around the other part right there you caught it good and then you just like kind of fell with grace and then up shifted and then carried it through yeah and when you get towards um when I was when I did the last corner, the first corner, it wants to walk a little bit. But it's not made to drive that shallow. Right. So that's weird. You're using well, a lot you can. of brake. You can just you just have to feel your pitch in the car. Yeah, yeah. I have to find the sweet spot. It just kind of went there. Yeah. I was kind of walking it a little too far ahead. Uh, and then the second lap, when I went around again, that first transition I did spin out. I didn't clutch kick it. I just throttled through and it just self self. Yeah, I just, he's using a lot of brake, I can tell you. A lot of brake? Yeah. I think he's dragging it some a little bit. I can, I can usually tell when you're using a lot of brakes by the temp of the lugs. Okay. Every time. It's like if you're, if it's a good run, they are totally not as hot as if you have a shit run. 100% <laughs> of the time, dude. Like, I I can try, try well, he's left foot braking through certain sections. Right. Left foot brake through first corner. Yeah. If I, if I die. Gone, through, so. baby. Whoa. <laughs> gone. Yeah. I'm not hitting the first corner wide enough, and I, my, the board drive pushes me down to the inner corner. Well, I would prefer you to do that than to be all the way out on the outside, yeah. and then you lose control for some reason. Look at that tire, baby. baby. That's what Look I'm at that. Do. You did that. I felt it. Yeah. 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 I just started skating. I, can't, I did that, the last, very last run, I did that first transition, and it just went, it just kept skating, and I was like, all right, it's done. <laughs> it's done. It's gone. That's gone, man. I know that first flick in, it was like, I wish you yeah. like ice. I wish you could ride with me. I like watching you from outside. <laughs> but it was good. Oh, you're doing great, dude. You're doing great. I like it like this. Hand check. Hand check. Hand check. Hand check. Are you steady? Hand check.
I think the tire pressures were different. Uh, tires just he said they thing. didn't know what they were at and they didn't check these ones or anything. Could have. They felt, it felt when you transitioned the car wanted to carry around more. Yeah. There's less side light. But you're throwing it pretty hard too. I was. You don't have to throw it that hard. So <laughs> when I would, go, when I throw it in the first corner, when I'd go down to second, obviously I'd take my time, push the clutch in, go down to second. When I come back, when the car was bogging down, I would just tap that foot brake to bring the front around just to set me longer. So that's like when I threw it hard like that, I had to keep it under. Just clutch it though. I did. Yeah. It was like during during the downshift, I would right foot tap real quick so to bring the front around since I'm not putting wheel speed in the rear. And then I'd come back off and I then I'd clutch it. Go. I would say I would just turn the aggression down a little bit and just focus Be on being smooth. That's all you gotta do. Okay. Just focus on being smooth. Am I going back out? Yeah. Got another pair for you. For him. <laughs> Car. I love it. Look at this thing. You're a hot boy central out here, bro. Oh, bro. It's all you. Love it. No, not even. Way nicer, mine. <laughs> driving a car like this before yeah. and not really having very much real life experience. Yeah. I think you picked up on doing awesome. Well, what's crazy is that it, it felt unbelievably natural. And it's the same thing that always happens where like a real driver goes to sim and they lose sensation. And I feel like it's harder to deal with that than it is for a sim driver who's at least a veteran and someone who has put in the hours I have to get in and to gain the extra senses and know how to apply them and right. what to do with them. Right. Um, yeah, things like when I threw it in the corner and I would get really deep in angle, you can feel yourself sucking back in the seat. Right. Just the G's from that. And, and the well, drag, you can feel the suspension moving. The drag of the tire. Your whole body yep. to help give you all of the feedback that the car is relating to. Yeah. You know? Yep. Yeah, and it's the same. It's it's exactly what I expected it to be, but plus. Yeah. yeah. But I started to push myself a little bit too much, and then I realized that where I was pushing, 
what's in where I should be pushing. Right. Be, be focused on being consistent. And right. Do those parts. Right. So I had to go back to square one. My first laps out in my first session were better than my laps in my second session. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I got to go back once because the first thing I was doing was right. Right. The second thing I was doing was pushing in the wrong places. I mean, dude, driving something that makes like over 900 is yeah. no joke. Like, it's, it's this really, is a serious car. I mean, this literally was competing with the best in the world out here this morning. Yeah. And for you to like never experience that and just go out there, it's still in one piece. You're still in one piece. Like yeah. that's something to be said. Like you should be super stoked. No, you I am. To go out there and do it. I am, and I'm thankful as fuck, dude. Thank you so much. Of course, dude. Yeah. You're I've been I've been Probably. waiting my whole fucking life to like do some shit like this. You know. Ever since I was fucking little, dude, I wanted to. I wanted to do it. Well, I, I don't know, I, I can't do it. I just need it. Well, now you said you were gonna buy yourself a car this next week. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go look at something and see if I can figure it out. I think you need to, man, and then we'll get you out here with me someday, man. You know Sick. what I mean? It's be awesome. But um, like I said, for me, it's a new experience too, being on the outside of the car. No one's ever driven this car other than me, mm -hmm. and uh, outside of our tutors that pop in the front seat to do their thing. But um, yeah, I'm super stoked on you. I'm super proud of you, and thank you for everything. Thank you. To the world and being an awesome spotter and an awesome member of the team. This is a uh, this is a thank you. Thank, well, thank you because this is a goal. This is a goal of my life. You know, like it's like you know how people go many years in their life to check off that bucket list. Yep. That's one thing off the bucket list. Like that's a big deal to me. You know? I know. Thank you so much. I know. I just remember for me as a kid, man. Like I learned the same way. Like you know that I come from Florida, I come from Rancho, Regional, all of that, and being a 13 year old kid, like growing up like it took me a long time to get to this point you know like I can only imagine if I have that same opportunity what that would be so like yeah. it's an honor and uh, thank you for doing your job thank you yeah, I appreciate it. we came out here and um, we got the car out and everything and we're, we're ready to go and then um, Brian looks at me with the camera and he tells me I'm gonna drive the car and I'm just at, at first I thought it was a joke because we're always joking around with each other but it, he was actually being serious, so I, you know, I started thinking like, all right, what do I need to do? Where do I start? How do I execute this? And just trying to keep myself calm for the most part. I've never driven a car to this standard before, and you know, to, to get thrown in like the highest horsepower car I ever driven was maybe like, you know, like 300 maybe. And so, coming out and driving something like this, you know, that that's a real big deal. It's a, it's for one, it's the only RB professional drift car in the U.S. and it, too, it's the gnarliest RV drift car in the entire U.S. So, like, to even get behind the wheel of it is just intimidating at, at itself. But um, I'm very, I was very confident in my sim practice I've had for many years, and learning and understanding what to do at the right time and how to correct my mistakes and how to counter what the car is doing when I don't want it to do that. So, the only real thing was just feeling the sensations and everything else came with it. I have, I have so much sim practice. I have you know, over 2,000 hours on the sim. Um, I have some of the highest in equipment that real, gives you a realistic you know, feel. Thank you to Sim Magic and Extreme Sim Racing for that. And they, you know, they gave me the opportunity to progress my driving to a point where I could handle something like this. So I, um, I appreciate those guys. And yeah, I went out there and did a few figure eights right off the start just to feel the sensation, the G-forces, you know, side bite your hips forward bite your tailbone your back and just learn how to find those two and everything in between and then once I felt that out I felt confident and um, steering feels very similar to my sim um, you know like getting used to just some of the grip and the, and the tire how the tire works on the real car compared to the sim is a little different it's very, it's very similar to an extent but the tire on the car does a little more and understanding how to, to break through that to get the car to stay inside in and uh, sideways motion etc um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm super hyped. This was a bucket list opportunity for me, um, and, and Ryan surprised me with it, and I'm, I'm forever grateful and thankful, and I'm, I'm the only person to ever drift this car besides Ryan, mm -hmm. and for him to have that trust in me means a lot. Um, but I do think this is also gonna progress our relationship and our, and our, our work ethic together. All right, so we just wrapped up having Zach drive the car for the very first time. He's never driven a car like this ever in his life. He's a veteran sim driver, but has very had very little to no experience driving an actual car. So 
I think he did awesome, obviously, for the amount of time that he actually had behind the car. Uh, this car came off the track here in Utah, right off the Formula D circuit, went onto the skid pad, and I thought he handled it extremely well. I think he's extremely talented, and I would love to be able to see what he could do with um, more time behind a car like this. So. I think it's safe to say that the sim is a beneficial tool for anybody that's le learning to come in to wanting to know how to drift or know how to drive a race car. It's an awesome tool that you can put in your spare bedroom, in your garage, in your living room, in your bedroom uh, to be able to learn and perfect a craft for you to utilize in real life. So um, thank you to everybody on board that supports this program, Power Stop Brakes, Colab Garage, ANX Electric, and of course Sim Magic for providing us with amazing tools that we can use at home to hone and perfect our skills. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one. Later.